clothes are borrowed and I do not have any place to go. I am uh, literally uh, homeless. A Columbia man is now free after a judge found him not guilty on four counts of plotting to kill his now ex-wife. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Deborah Kendrick. Investigators said Maradon Fatuyam intimidated witnesses and hired inmates to murder his then-wife while he was in jail on a different charge. A judge cleared him of the charges after a bench trial this week. ABC 17's Erica McGuire spoke to him as he got out of the Boone County Jail. Erica, he says that he believes all all of this was financially and racially motivated. Deb, I was the first reporter to speak with Futagiam after he was released from jail today. He criticized the legal system, which he called corrupt. I feel the justice is finally served after five and a half years of uh, uh, malicious prosecution and uh, that they uh, uh, unjustly uh, charged and uh, incarcerated me for five and a half years. Authorities accuse Mirjad Futagiam of intimidating witnesses and hiring inmates to murder his now ex-wife. Investigators said Futagiam wanted his wife killed out of fear he'd lose money in his divorce. Today, St. Louis Judge Stephen Omer acquitted him on all four counts. He tells me that prosecutors and the court focus their case on ill intent. It's uh, financially and racially motivated. There's no questions about it. I have a uh, uh, verifiable uh, uh, evidence um, uh, took more than $10 million of my money and assets. They sold my house, my office building there, my rental properties and, and the ass assets and the real estate and so on. He says he wants to see changes in the laws and he wants to be a part of justice reform. I hope to be able to um, uh, help our lawmakers to uh, make a difference for my fellow uh, Missourians of all these flaws in the law. Next, Futagiam says he wants to get his life back. He also wants to get in contact with his children. I miss them very much, and I have not seen them for five years. I have not been able to be in contact with them because they separated them from me, and I miss them uh, dearly. Now, I did reach out to the St. Charles prosecuting attorney today, and they tell me, quote, while we are disappointed in the ruling and continue to stand by our evidence, but we will respect the court's decision. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Erica McGuire, ABC 17 News.